Hi guys and girls and welcome back to the Infidel Space Program. This is episode 5. As you can see we have built the Osiris Miner. This took a long time to get this. There's 16 parachutes. I had to use that amount because uh, I tested this thing for like an hour, two hours it took me getting it right. I was testing on curbing like going up about 2000 meters and then shutting off the engine and just deploying the parachutes and the amount of times it just ripped itself to pieces we didn't kill one Kerbal though, not a single Kerbal died they always, usually this got ripped off, the uh, the pod got ripped off and they descended down slowly and the rest got yeah, shredded to pieces from the force so what I had to do was use different parachutes with different um, altitudes like the openings and drag so yeah, we've got three, three different stages of parachute. So without much further ado, this is pretty simple. I'll just quickly do a quick, quick run through. Docking port on top, Chinese hat, <laughs> nice Oriental style. Yeah, two, yeah, power. You know, solar panels, RTGs. We've got the lander can with a nice little window, so when they've docked, uh, when they've landed, they can look out, and hopefully we can be in view of the other modules and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I've made it manned because I think it's a piece of equipment and machinery and it should be manned. I had to add these two engines on the sides, which took me a long time as well to figure out what to do. Because the Poodle engine just didn't have enough power to lift all this up on curbing, so it definitely won't be able to do it on, like, uh, Eve. Leif is the same pretty much as curbing, and June is easy. This will get up in orbit, no problem. But yeah, we'll have a problem on Leif and Eve, definitely. So uh, uh, I'm hoping that you guys don't choose that first, because we won't be able to do that, I don't think. we have to send another miner if we're going somewhere else. Although I make the IC, the Osiris actual vessel a lot less parts and easy to get to other places. So yeah, that's it guys. We've got the four containers on the side here to store our caffeine. These two things are parachutes on top of them. And then we've got another set of, what, eight parachutes around this middle part. And legs. And that's it, and that's the standard launch part I use to launch all my heavy stuff. So I'll see you on the uh, launch pad. And, yeah, and then I'll see you in space. Alright guys, so we're up, um, bit of a crazy moment there, we're not really sure, getting into orbit straight away with intersects, like really close, but I reckon the ascent node might sort us out here, I've left another bit of debris up, I can either just end the flights or we can actually take them out with weaponry, um, I'm not sure what to do about them. I've got some fun weapons though we could use. I'm going to go ahead and sort out the ascent node before we get there. So it's the ascending node, so we want to go on the 180 mark. 
So let's hold it there and zip around. So yeah, this will sort out our. I've learned that if you, yeah, if you're on an inclination, uh, dear. see it coming down. Yeah, if you're heading towards the ascending node, you hit the 180 marker, and there you go, zero. And if you're heading towards the descending node, you point on the north line, and then you can burn when you're at the node. 8.2 kilometers. Let's just have a look where. Okay, so if I burn. <coughs> Sorry, I still got these sniffles and whatnot. I don't want to drag this out too long either, so... I think if we burn towards the target, it'd probably be better. I'm not really sure which way to burn here, though. To be quite honest. I'm a, my mind's a bit blank at the moment. Yeah, that's bringing us in, slowly. Let's see how close we can get it. Six. Oh, it did go to five point nine. Six. All right, six. We'll have to do for now. So when we're at six, it's probably going to be a bit longer. What I'll do is I'll time warp this next part as well, and then when we're close, obviously, because we've got two things to dock. I don't want to drag this out too long. So yeah, I'll time warp this next part coming up, and then see you soon. Alright guys, what it's done, we've done this before, it's a bit of a pain. Uh, the last docking port you add is the docking port it uses as this target. Can I, unless I click control from here, it didn't seem to do anything though. So let's just see where we are. If we go, whoa, okay that's fixed it. Alright, at least I know how to do that now. Let's get it back up. And line you up. Okay, so yeah, that's nice. A little nice little fix I learned. So we should drift in if I stop. Is it up to go down? Yeah, there we go. Let's just stop a sec. Let's control this. Have a controlled one for once. Ah, see, we're well off. So we need to go this way. How are we doing? Oh, that's good. Okay, so now this is blind, not blind, but you know, visual docking. Which I've never really been that good at. Okay. 
Yeah, let's just shoot in. Hope for the best. It should magnetize. But yeah, that won't have the greatest. But I need to remember to. Sorry, I'm gonna let it wobble about a bit. No, oh, we seem to be upside down, like inverse controls here. Yeah, I just need to remember to dock. Oh, the docking port you're going to use is the last docking port you want to add onto your ship. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. And that wasn't the smoothest, but we did get there in the end. Oh dear, and it's actually nice and uh, a little off. I did fix the other one quickly. Yeah, I don't want to chat around too much. We've got work to do. So let me just disable this. And yeah, just another. Alright, so just one more piece going on now, which we'll I'll time lapse quickly well, uh, time lapse quickly. And then we'll have a little chat about what we're gonna do. Hey guys, just a quick little, this is the uh, shuttle bus that we're going to use, the fuel bus. So I've got a small docking port here for the truck to go load up these tanks. And then I've got a big engine because it's going to be heavy. So yeah, we've got a big engine to take it back up to the... Uh, back up to our station Osiris so I'll see you when we're... I haven't put the launch system on yet but yeah I'll see you when we're about to dock hey guys sorry I totally forgot to press record but um <coughs> I didn't even rotate the ship so we're doing it the hard way as you can see I kinda went past it first um, I'm not sure which way I should be going this way yeah I kind of went about it all a bit crazy. Pretty sure though we go into not knock. Yeah. Not the best view either to be doing this, is it? But, um, right, maybe this view would be better. Which way do I want to go? Maybe this way. And if I shoot forward, ah, oh, there's the marker. Thank you. All right, let's just line the marker up now. And it should be good. There we go. Oh no, I forgot to line up the nose. Uh, how not to duck, ladies and gentlemen. Courtesy of. There we go. Yeah, that was not very nice. But we're docked and she's all ready to go apart from one refuel quick. I'll do that next. Um, yeah, so guys, pick and decide where to go. I won't be recording till tomorrow, so it's all fine. I'll check like through the day at suggestions. Right, for the shuttle, we don't want. We only need one to operate that. I want as many. Who shall we? Uh, Jeffman, you can be pilot. So I'm going to put these in the habitation module for now. Quickly. Oh, that is right near it, so that's handy. We've got three in there. Adnan's got some new company. They're probably telling some really poor jokes or something, I don't know. 
Don't worry, we're not going back to the moon to um, smell Ludzi's gas. So there we go. We're on the dark side with no lights. See, I didn't really show you much of the shuttle. But obviously, there's not much to show. It's literally a transport for caffeine. Four tank, well, eight tanks, but four. Four radially mounted. They can get in and out of this. So, that's it. Pick the destination, guys. Because the next video, we're not sending this straight away. We've got to just do a little prep work. We need to sc uh, scan for caffeine to find the right spot for our base. And I'm going to send over the truck with a caffeine scanner attached first to scout out a good area. Someone said Elu in the last video, which I really like the idea of because I haven't been there. Like I said, I'd prefer not to go to Eve or Leif just yet. Somewhere with a really thin atmosphere or no atmosphere is better for now. Just so we can go somewhere else after because I fear that we'll get stuck on Eve or Leif. So we need to pick a final kind of resting spot. Either Eve or Leif. Or Juna. Whichever you prefer. So get voting. Where do we go first? Moho, Juna. Any of the moons around Jewel except Leif, Drez or Elu. Thanks for watching, see you next time.